Well, it, it's a very practical reality that we are essentially forced into owning IOUs in all of our financial assets. Many people don't realize that. Um, certainly, I think the, the Austrian-oriented folks would realize that vis-a-vis -vis the dollars we deposit in a bank. But where most people wouldn't realize it is that's also true of the securities in our brokerage accounts. And it's a vestige of history. I don't think there's anything nefarious per se about the way the securities industry evolved. It, 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 we just didn't have the ability to settle the volume of transactions on a gross basis without creating huge paperwork problems back when when Wall Street, uh, when stocks traded literally in paper and bonds, uh, you used to literally clip the coupon and take it down to the the bank for uh, to, to redeem a bond coupon. It used to be all done physically. And as as, techno as as transaction volumes increased and then technology came onto the scene, it just wasn't capable of handling the volume of transactions. Storage was expensive. Processing power was expensive. And so it made sense to net transactions. So all the buys and sells of your IBM stock were netted within your broker and then your broker netted against other brokers. And so you just reduced the amount of transactions that needed to be processed. But what it also did was essentially copy the centralized structure of the banking system. The Fed, as you know, uh, came into effect in 1913 and um, the depository trust company is the equivalent or the analogy, rather, of, of the Fed. It's a central clearinghouse um, for the securities industry. And it does much of the same thing. And just like you've got in the banking industry, commercial banks, correspondent banks, and then your money center banks and, and, um, uh, and your primary dealers, in the securities industry, 